safi mtazamaji leo hii kwenye video hii naomba tu tofautiane kidogo kwenye ishu fulani hapa kuna jambo fulani ambalo linaniwasha kweli kweli na inabidi mimi niongee ukweli wangu ambayo roho yangu inazungumza watu huaga wanapenda sana kutumia kauli fulani kwamba anybody can be anything siku kama unanielewa yani yeyote anaweza akawa chochote but kongu mimi roho yangu inaniambia sio kila mtu anaweza akawa chochote kwa sababu sasa kauli hii sometimes huwa kwangu i make sense kwa sababu kuna watu fulani unaweza ukaona kwenye kitu fulani alafu unashindwa kafikaje hapo kwa sababu cha kwanza vitu haviendi unanielewa yani hapo ulipo ambapo ulikuwa unasema unatamani kuwa hapo au unatamani kuwa chochote umejipata pale au umejipeleka pale alafu hakuna kitu ambacho watu wanaweza wakaona wewe ukiwa hapo so mimi naamini mtu anaweza akawa kitu ambacho anatakiwa kuwa unanielewa yani unaweza ukawa kitu ambacho unatakiwa kuwa unajua kuna mtu unamuona anajua kucheza mpira huyo akiwa hata na ndoto ya kuchezea Gor Mahia unasema it's okay Unanielewa lakini sasa kuna mtu wewe ni mtu wa kawaida tu alafu unaniambia unaweza ukawa mwizi alafu ikawa vizuri. Kuna vitu vingine yani hatuwezi yani mimi hiyo kauli ya I can be anything mimi hiyo me I don't trust. Kwa sababu kuna watu leo hii mtu leo hii si kwamba namchukia Ruto lakini ninavomwangalia kwa angle ambayo mimi namwangalia unajua watu wanamwangalia kwa angles tofauti si ndio mimi nikimwangalia Ruto kidogo Um, naweza nikasema kwamba ai ai rafai yani si tu kwamba afai lakini hiyo nafasi ambayo anayo sasa hivi ai bana hiyo nafasi mimi sidhani kama inakaa vizuri na yeye so mimi naamini mtu yeyote hawezi akaa chochote it's very difficult kwa wale ambao hawajanielewa it's okay lakini kwa wale ambao wamenielewa i hope mmenielewa sio kila mtu anaweza akaa chochote lakini kila mtu anaweza akawa kitu ambacho anatakiwa kuwa. So nirudi kwenye pointi yetu hapa. Wahome tuku uh, kupitia ukurasa wake wa Facebook kama siyakosea ana ujumbe fulani sio ndefu vile lakini ndefu kidogo. Tutaisoma by the way. Uh, pamoja. So anasema hivi William Ruto sold himself out in Mount Kenya region or let me put it differently. William bought the entire Mount Kenya line time ago we sold out to him he brought us money in bags in our churches in our schools in our youth groups he brought real money besa he bought our pastors our professional our market women everyone he is a real politician he spent his hard cash to buy us that was enough we are his property He didn't need to make any other agreement written on or and written with us that he would appoint CS and PS. In any case he made it clear that his his government was not about position but wale watu wa chini mahasla and he has rewarded them very well. He sold a sweet narrative or eliminating dynasties which he has done that was enough. William was not elected based on any promises in central Kenya. Mount Kenya politicians didn't bring Ruto to Mount Kenya. He bought them. They were all elected because of Ruto. All of them. It's not Ndindi who brought Ruto to Kihau. It's Ruto who made Ndindi get re-elected. Ichungwa will be nothing without William Ruto. That simple. I am not yet done. Maanisha kwamba bado ujumbe wake utaendelea. So kuna sehemu mimi sijakubaliana na Wahome hapa ambapo wamezungumzia swala la watu wa chini kupewa nafasi. So sijajua watu wa chini amezungumzia viongozi au ni wananchi kwa sababu kulingana na Ruto na namna ambavyo alikuwa anaelezea watu wa chini walikuwa ni kina hawa watu mama mboga boda boda hawa watu wa chini understand ndio point ambayo uh, kidogo sijamuelewa I don't know whether sielewani na yeye au ndo mimi sijamuelewa Unanipata msomaji wangu. So hapa cha kwanza ambacho ipo na inaonekana wazi ni kwamba unaweza ukanunua watu. Unaweza ukanunua watu. Unaweza uka yani watu wanaweza wakakuamini kwa kupitia pesa. Unanipata. 
like unaweza ukanunua watu ukasema kwamba na wao watu ni watu wangu apart from kununua unaweza kadanganya kwa sababu si tu kwamba alitumia tu pesa peke yake mlima Kenya lakini kulikuwa na maneno fulani ambayo leo hii nikikuwekea hapa utasema yenyewe huyu Ruto ndo anatakiwa kuwa president kwa sababu maneno matamu deals nyingi mabilioni kibao yametengwa unanipata so mwisho siku watu waliingia box and ndo nikakuja kugundua kweli sio lazima hata watu uwafanyie vitu vizuri ambavyo vita wasaidia kwa kipindi kirefu lakini bora pesa uh, hapa na pale wanunulie kitu nini na ndio maana nikiona watu wananunuliwa mchele Mount Kenya ndio sasa hivi season kashtuka kwa sababu they are used to that yani wao ni watu wa kununuliwa yani that's what i can confirm sasa hivi ninavyozungumza sasa mlima Kenya walinunuliwa si tu kwamba walimpenda William Samuel Ruto ukweli uongo walinunuliwa si tu kwamba walimpigia kura kwa sababu wanampenda Walinu, walinunuliwa lakini pia watu tunatafi, tuna, tuna, tunatakiwa kulaumu mlima Kenya Mount Kenya kwa sababu inaonekana wao ndo waliamua wao ndo ni kama uamuzi wao ulichangia William Samoruto akawa leo hii yupo same alipo lakini pia kitu kingine hawafai kulalamika watu wa mlima Kenya nataka unisikilize vizuri sana hii conversation hawafai kulalamika kivovote vile kwa sababu wao wenyewe ndo wakaweka pale wao wenyewe ndo walinunuliwa wao wenyewe ndo walikula pe, walikula pesa sasa swali lingine ambalo linafuata kama mlima Kenya ndo inaamua ni nani anakuwa rais kwa nini watu wengine wapige kura lakini pia najiuliza tutafanyaje ili mlima Kenya wasirudie kwa sababu inaichukua kama mistake fulani ambao walifanya naichukua kama sitaki kusema kuteleza lakini nataka kusema ni mistake fulani yani walifanya kwamba walimwamini huyu mtu kwa sababu huyu mtu aliwanunua unanipata so solution ni gani mimi sioni solution nyingine tofauti na hawa watu kupata elimu ya uongozi bora hawa watu wanatakiwa kupewa facts Anione ya kitu ambacho kinaweza kufanya mtu akawa kiongozi mzuri. Unanielewa? Wanatakiwa elimu fulani extra. Kwamba watu ndo kabisa mchague mtu fulani sio lazima iwe ni swala la pesa, sio lazima swala swala la sui maneno matamu, swala la sui nini, kuharibia watu wengine majina na nini na mambo kama hayo. It's okay sometimes siasa iko hivyo lazima uharibie mtu lazima udanganye lazima ufanye hivyo vitu vyote ndio upate nafasi lakini wanatakiwa kupata elimu ikija ni swala la siasa Sasa kwa sababu ikiendelea hivi niweze kawa ni habit ndio nakuja kwenye ile point ya anybody can be anything Hakuna haja ya anybody ya kuwe anything alafu kwa hiyo anything ambao wamejipata au ambao wamejipatia ambao wame, au ambao wamepewa anakuja kufanya bure. It's good to be anything kama unafanya kitu lakini sasa you are anything without nothing. You you've become anything. Unanipata? Yes, hiyo anything hiyo ume, ume, umeifanikisha. Yes, lakini kwa hiyo anything unafanya nini? Nothing. Kama then hiyo kauli haifanyi kazi. You can't tell us that oh, anybody can be anything umeshakuwa ume hiyo anything but you are doing nothing so kwa nini tutumie hiyo kauli kwa sababu gani that's the reason why nilikuwa naitoa hiyo kauli kwa sababu kuna watu leo hii wapo kwenye nafasi fulani unashindwa kwa leo huyu anafanya nini kwe, kwe, kwenye hii nafasi so kitu kikubwa kwake ni yupo kwenye hiyo nafasi si tu kwamba kuna kitu anafanya kwenye hiyo nafasi unaniona sasa unaona the reason why nilikuwa naitoa ile kauli ya anybody can be anything <laughs> sija kubaliana nayo hiyo itakuwa habit inamaanisha anybody from nowhere anaweza kakuja alipe mlima Kenya nunua wapikie mchele nyama kesho washinde aanze kuangaisha watu si ndio hivyo wanamaanisha lakini kitu kikubwa ambacho watu wanatakiwa kujiuliza ni matokeo yanakuaje matokeo ya kununuliwa matokeo ya kukubali mtu kwa sababu ya labda maneno matamu ambayo aliyazungumza wakati akitafuta nafasi results yanakuwa kama vipi i think sasa hivi tumejifunza mambo mengi sana and mimi naomba mlima Kenya wapate watu au mtu ambaye anaweza akawafundisha 
kujua utofauti wa wango, utofauti wa kutumiwa, utofauti wa kuambiwa ukweli na utofauti wa vitu kama hivyo. Unanipata? Kwa sababu inaonekana kuna mambo mengi ambayo hawaelewi. And hii inaweza ikawa riski kabisa kwa nchi kama hii hapa kwa sababu unakuta tuko nyuma. Tunatakiwa kupiga hatua lakini vitu namna tu ambavyo wanapeana kura zao kwa kweli unaweza ukaangalia ukasema basi hapa hatutoboi. Hatu Unanielewa? Sasa tunakuja kwenye topic ya subtopic ya pili hapa kwamba watu wanatakiwa kujiuliza kwamba huyu mtu alitumia pesa nyingi sawa alileta pesa na magunia akanunua bishop it's very expensive by the way nunua bishop jenga kanisa jenga shule jenga nini afu ujue hivi vitu vyote vinafanyika sio kwenye sio sio so, so, kwamba kapenda ni kwenye roho yake kwamba mimi nataka niwasaidie na nini no anaifanya akiwa na mission nyingine yani mtu bora amekuwa president at some point waga hisi kama ndo kitu ambacho alikuwa anataka William Samuel Ruto it wasn't all about doing job na nini na vitu kama hivyo it was all about ni nataka kuwa president unanielewa kwa sababu you, you can imagine somebody is mlima Kenya kuna counties ngapi kuna counties nyingi huko mlima Kenya imagine ununue mabishop ununua pasta ununua walimu ununua shule ununua osi, ununua kila kitu it's very very expensive unanielewa sasa matokeo ni kama gani na shukuru Mungu matokeo tunayaona so it's not that easy kuelezea mtu cha kwanza ambacho unatakiwa kutarajia ni kwamba unaona sasa hivi anavopeana nafasi jiulize ni kwa nini anapeana nafasi hivyo sio nafasi za kisiasa sio nafasi za kikampuni sio nafasi za kifedha angalia nafasi ambazo wamepewa watu wakinaisha akina nani akina uh, uh, Moses Kuria kina... kuna watu tu ukiwaangalia you are like bro hey, kwa nini sasa huyu alipewa nafasi hapa unasahau kwamba hawa watu ndo walinunuliwa hawa watu ndo walinunuliwa so mwisho siku hawa watu lazima wawekwe mstari wa mbele kwa sababu they played part ya huu jamaa kuwa kwenye hii nafasi unalipata so na it's a must sio watu sasa ni kuna watu fulani pia walihusika sio tu wananchi kuna watu wengine pia walihusika hapa so lazima they have to be taken care of unanielewa una lazima na wao waweke kwenye mstari wa mbele kwamba yani sasa huu jamaa inabidi mimi nimwangalie vizuri kwa sababu jamaa kahusika kwenye nafasi yangu hii hapa siko mnanipata so mwisho siko atapeana tu nafasi hata angalia nani anaweza kufanya nini in fact at some point utakuta ni wale viongozi ndio wanamchagulia yani wanamwambia brother mimi mimi sasa niweke hapo kwenye trade mimi niko vizuri brother mimi niweke hapo kwa barabara niko vizuri sana brother niweke hapo kwenye sui foreign Unaona vitu kama hivyo sasa matokeo ni kama hayo. Ye ndo anaambiwa sasa huyu mweke hapa huyu mweke hapa. Ye hana hana hata sauti hata yani hana sauti hata hata vuli umoja tu kuambia mtu wewe nataka ukae pale. We. Hapo tayari tunaruka kwenye point ya kwamba huyu mtu haumfuti kazi upende uspe haumfuti kazi. Huyu mtu hata akifanya makosa huwezi kabisa yani hata siku moja ukamfuta au ukamzungumzia vibaya kwa sababu wanaamini wao ndo walikuweka hapo. Unanielewa? Wao ndo walikuweka ha? Wao ndo walikuweka hapo. Sasa hapa sio rahisi kufanya kazi. Sio rahisi kufanya kazi kwa sababu hataki kukosea mtu inabidi aende kama wanavotaka wale sio kama anavotaka yeye. Niambie rais mgani ambaye anakuwa controlled na wadogo zake. Niambie tu ikishafikia hiyo level jua bro yu, wewe umeisha wewe umeisha kabisa ikishafikia hiyo level yeah, you are finished my brother most of the time unakuta yeye ndo anakuwa control hata si kwamba ni yeye ana control yeye ndo anakuwa control so mwisho siku matokeo ni kama hayo ambayo nimekutajia na bado mnaendelea kuyaona kuna wengine ambao ni wengine wali hata walitolewa walifukuzwa wakaambiwa kwamba anyie tokeni hapa sorry nyie tokeni hapa hatuwahitaji hapa kuna watu wengine tunawahitaji unanipata unakuta mtu ana, ana, anapewa nafasi ya, ya kufungua kampuni fulani hatutaki kujua yeye ni mtu aina gani yeye bora amepewa so mwisho siku tunaenda kufanya kazi ambayo haiwezekani ah, hata kufanikiwa Unanielewa? 
Hebu nipe maoni yako hapo chini kwenye sehemu ya comments lakini kikubwa zaidi subscribe ili uendelee kupata taarifa nyingi na mpya kila wakati. Bye bye.